Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, you are doing well. So today, I wanted to share with you a very special dua that is so dear and near to my heart because of the work that I do with women in fertility, pregnancy, and postpartum. So this dua, the Prophet sallallahu highly highly recommended for every married couple to say right before they engage in the act of intimacy so what is this dua dua reads bismillah allahumma jannibna shaitan wa jannib shaitan ma razaqtana so the simple meaning of the dua is bismillah we start in the name of allah Of course, as Muslims, every act that we engage in is by the mercy of Allah that we are able to engage in that act or perform that act. So whatever we do, we have to start with the name of Allah. So that would be the Bismillah. I start this intimacy in the name of Allah. Oh Allah, shield us from shaitan and keep him away from us and from what you may bestow on us. So inshallah, if this results in pregnancy, Allah is going to protect the child and also protect the act that you guys have engaged in. So it is recommended that both the man and the woman say this dua, not only the man or not only the woman. Both of you should say this dua before you start to engage in the act of intimacy so even though this dua is highly recommended to be said by the man it is also very very essential that the woman says the dua as well so both of you should be saying the dua allahumma jannibna shaitan wa jannib shaitan ma razaqtana so you don't have to say it aloud say it silently okay so you say it silently he says his own and you say your own every time you engage in any act of intimacy because shaitan is everywhere especially he is where the good is happening so shaitan would not be where the shaitan acts are happening the shaitan act would be when you're doing when you are sinning when you are doing all of those things he has already um made that thing to happen so he doesn't have a lot of work to do at where the sinning is happening or where the bad act is happening right or where the wrong where the not so um healthy act is happening but whenever a healthy act the good act the the route that Allah wants us to follow whenever that is happening or we are embarking on that route then we are faced with the challenges of shaitan we are faced with the challenges of the waswas of shaitan so we have to always seek refuge engage in the act of supplication the act of making zikr the act of making dua the act of just surrendering and putting all of our affairs in the hands of Allah for Allah to cater for us for Allah to put his blessings and um, guidance in whatever we want to do and starting a family is no difference starting a family is the big 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 act of worship in Islam we are populating the ummah right so we have to invite Allah in the act that would hopefully end in populating the ummah of rasulullah so when we say this dua it is like a protection for the act that you guys are doing for shaitan not to be the lead or the third party it is also a protection for the child and if through this you are destined to have a child or the act results in pregnancy shaitan will not be able to harm the child or overcome the child it's very very important dua and i hope you keep it at the back of your head you try to memorize it and uh, may allah put his barakah in our marriages and also bless and protect our marriages and our children 
This is very short and easy to add. You can start memorizing today, right now. I'm going to put it down below in the description box. You can check it out and take a screenshot of it and memorize it, try to memorize it. You can memorize the Arabic as well as the English translation so that it stays with you. You don't have to like reference through your books whenever the act starts spontaneously. Inshallah, I hope you pass on the khair and share it with other sisters. For more blessings to you and to me and to the sisters who are also going to benefit from it. Until next time, inshallah, be in the best of health and iman. Assalamu alaikum.